Maurice de Hond. Twee weken geleden stelde ik vast dat een kwart van de kijkers naar de lobbyisten positiever over Kerry zijn gaan denken. Vorige week was dat precies hetzelfde. Maar bij Bush, daar boeken de lobbyisten resultaat. Twee weken geleden was 2% positiever over hem gaan denken. Vorige week was dat 4%. Een stijging dus van 100%. Welcome to The Lobbyist. 4%, fantastisch. Wie had dat gedacht? Of eigenlijk een verhoging van 100%. Hoeveel mensen zullen dat nou zijn? En hoeveel tijd hebben we nog? With 10 more days to go, lobbying is more important than ever. Meeting with people who are in constant contact with the average voter and who can tell us about their drives is absolutely necessary at this point in time as they control the future. Let's meet the icons of American society. In this episode, the most famous living sex therapist. She knows if he ejaculates. Also, a man cannot fake an erection. The most intimate secret of Miss America 2003. Very nice, very yes. nice. I don't cook, I, I microwave meals. Elementary education as I given by a weapons salesman. I let my son have a drink of my beer since I he was four years old, but he gets a swallow of it. Always on the road, but always feels at home. The truck driver. I'm a patriot of this country and I want to keep it safe. The recipe of a neoconservative cook for global issues. The only way if people hate you, the only way you're going to do something with it is with force. I don't care what anybody else says, it's going to be force. And of course, America's best known icon, the immigrant taxi driver. My colleague and I, we are from Holland. We live in Amsterdam. And we came to this country to lobby for Mr. Bush for his re-election. Because we thought it was very good that he freed, you know, Iraq, that he freed uh, Afghanistan. He, Kick the Taliban out, and that he that the world now is safer without Saddam Hussein in Iraq. Well, I agree with that. I agree. So, okay. so where are you from? I'm from Iraq. Do you still have family in Iraq? Uh, yes, I do. I have all my family in Iraq. In which part of Iraq? Uh, they are up in Mosul. And, and what do they, what do they think? Well, for the most part, they are happy, you know, that America freedom uh, from Saddam Hussein. But the problem they have is with security. They, they don't feel safe going out uh, shopping or going anywhere without uh, fearing there's uh, a, bo uh, a bomb goes off here or there. I'm grateful that he, uh, he freed us from the glitches of Saddam Hussein. But uh, I, I probably vote for Kerry. Why? Well, because... Uh, Mainly because uh, a lot of Bush supporters are too conservative, you know, the Christian right. And uh, it seems to me like they live in the 50s. Well, it, sometimes it takes a long time for people to realize that they're well off. You love your kid, but you whip their butt because they're in trouble, you know. That's tough love, you know. You, you make them mind, you know. They think it's awful at the time, but 10 years down the road, they find out, you know, dad was a pretty good dad. When he slammed me yeah, yeah, in my and face with yeah, my butt. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Yeah. But my boy is seven years old now. I was teaching him to play with guns from two years old. He enjoys guns, toy guns or real guns. I'm talking about I, I had him with real guns sitting on my couch, teaching him the proper method of handling them. I love dollhouses. A friend of mine, a professor of sociology, made this for me because I didn't have a home when I grew up from the age of 10. So I had nobody. But in this house, I had no control. But in this house, I can have control. And when I was 10 years old, I was sent to Switzerland uh, to a uh, children's home and uh, that children's home became an orphanage it's because my parents nobody got out uh, they were all killed by the Nazis 
and uh, I have all of the Jewish symbols of a menorah, of a Hanukkah. I'm the wrong person mm -hmm. to criticize this great country because look what has happened to me. In no other country, I respect the Victorian attitudes, but I talk about orgasm. I talk about erections. They, nobody criticizes me for talking like that. And um, I'm the wrong person to say one bad word about this country. We have problems, but no other country could I have become Dr. Ruth. The escaped sex therapist is not the only one who is very pleased with America. That's an understatement. I'm very happy. I'm 100% behind George Bush. America, the land of the free. I love the best values America stands for, freedom. People in the Middle East actually they have great admiration for America. Yet, there are people who still resent the land of unlimited opportunities. What I want to know is why does somebody get into a plane and flying into the World Trade Center? Well, you see, the thing is they misinterpret Islam and they call that uh, 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 martyrdom, you know. To them, they're dying for the cause, which is wrong. Islam forbids the killing of innocent people. In fact, if Islam forget, forbids taking of one, one's own life, let, let alone taking someone else's with them. Somebody that is that is trained terrorist, mm -hmm. that, that knows how to be a terrorist, that's been trained in that organization, you and I wouldn't have a chance against them. No? They know what they're doing. They're they're going to have the, they're going to have what they call the drop on you. They're going to they're going to be in command of the situation before you'll even know it's happened. That's the thing with terror. You, it, there are always bombs going off in your heads. You become a little paranoid. Well, At least I do. If we had let uh, the occurrences of September 11th bother us that much, we wouldn't be walking down streets. We wouldn't. We'd be staying in our homes because we were that scared. We're not scared. No, we're, ang no, we're angry that it happened. And uh, how angry? Well, somebody came in and and, and took a hold, uh, took a lot of lives, and created destruction for no unknown reason. Did they hate that person, or did they hate his ideals? Did they hate what he? because we're free and, and uh, we're allowed to do things. I want a gun because I'm not going to do anything illegal with it, and I enjoy owning and shooting firearms. It's like collecting art. They're all different. They all have a mystique about them. I've, I'm, you know, 100 guns. I obviously don't shoot very many of them. I shoot a few of them a lot. Most of them I just have them because I like to have them. They'll take away our guns sooner or later. What do you need your guns for, then? For our That's your for freedom. Our freedom. You have guns. That's our freedom. You That's don't about have guns America. Over there, do you? You've lost your freedom to have guns, haven't uh, you? In Holland? Is that in, is to own a gun? That's really freedom. That's sure it is. We like to. But you can shoot. Oh, definitely. I've got a gun in the closet, but that's near the front door. Okay. So if he comes in the front door, I've got to go to the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to take three or four seconds. If he's, if there's somebody at the front door that, I, or if I see a car pull up that I recognize as somebody he's scared of, I can have a gun in a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. If he, if he's already coming to my door, I'm gonna, and if I have the chance to run, I'm gonna have to go upstairs to get to the, a firearm that's in the, in the bedroom. But also, you know, protecting yourself. If the all, you have no rights because you lost your guns, right? Your government took them away. Um. Well, I think you for, for for gaming, you can have a gun. It'll start with that, and then it will lead to something else. See, if Iraq becomes a stable, democratic country and prosperous, the next thing you know, Iran, Iranians, they come there a lot. Other Arabs come and they see it and say, oh, my goodness, you know, this is good. We want that, too. Uh, Americans understand we are a sovereign country. America's greatest export is freedom. The world is freer today. The Soviet Union, uh, East Germany, Afghanistan, Iraq. Maybe Iraq. So, dear viewing voters, 
If you are in favor of a free and democratic Middle East, and don't forget, four more years. And if you want to empty your beloved guns without government interference, and finally, if you're proud that America's most important export product is freedom, then vote for Bush and make the 2nd of November a day to remember. We need money. We need money for our campaign. I would wear that and my husband would leave me. Really? Yes, absolutely. First a dollar, two dollars. Maybe one day you got a baby. We made this. Bush or terror. You know, if, if, if it's real love, he will stay with you. Not if Bush comes between us. <laughs> Bill Clinton loves me. And there is a reason. I never talked, and I will not talk, about his affair. So he calls me a hero, and that I'm a giant. Ik ben Maurice de Hond. De afgelopen zes weken heb ik voor de lobbyisten vastgesteld wat hun effect is geweest onder de Nederlandse bevolking. En wat bleek? Aanhangers van Kerry zijn voor 20% positiever over Kerry gaan denken. Aanhangers van Bush daarentegen zijn zelfs voor 30% positiever over Bush gaan denken. Jammer dat ze dit werk niet in de Verenigde Staten hebben gedaan, want als ze datzelfde effect bereikt zouden hebben, dan zou Bush aanstaande dinsdag zeker winnen. Welcome to The Lobbyists. In this last week of the elections, the lobbyists do everything they can to win the hearts and minds of Democrats. Well, what can we do about it then? Huh? Come back. Come back. Oh, that sounds good to me. You vote yeah. Bush? Yeah, I would. Well, vote for Bush. Okay. Take my hand and I trust you. Okay. Yet, they can no longer ignore the fact that Kerry is still a feared opponent, like Morris DeHaan said. This means that there are many people who expect other solutions on important issues from the Democrats. Let's see what those differences really are. Will the Democratic Party allow gay people to marry? I, I fear that it won't. You it know, won't. I fear that it won't. I, personally, hmm. my belief is very liberal. Okay, death penalty. Mm -hmm. If Kerry becomes the president of the United States, will he say death penalty? We it's kill. Over. We kill death penalty. Um. There probably is a chance. How small? There probably is a chance. Ninety percent? Two percent? Neither. In between. If I open a booklet of the Democratic Party, does it allow uh, abortion? Or will it say, no, abortion, we cannot do it. It's, you know, it's not... There will be an in-between. Will President Kerry uh, sign the Kyoto Agreement? That's interesting, if he'll, if he'll sign the Kyoto Agreement. Uh, you know... Now, my colleague is asking whether he will sign or not, not whether it's interesting or not. <laughs> yes or no? I don't know if he will, yes or no. You don't know? Yes, yes. No, no, I don't know. En dan vraag jij zo'n vrouw, wat vindt uw partij over... Homo, huwelijk, doodstraf, de natuur, Kyoto. Ja. En wat zegt zij? Nou, ik vind persoonlijk dit en dat, maar... maar... Ik weet niet wat het officiële standpunt van mijn partij is. Ongelooflijk. Wat is hier dus eigenlijk te kiezen? Ja. Dat, wat is er te kiezen? Als Kerry zegt dat hij, als hij in Bush positie was, precies hetzelfde had gedaan als Bush. Ja. I was disappointed that John Kerry said he would have gone to Iraq. And that's what I'm telling you. Ja. That I was disappointed that he said, even knowing there were no weapons of mass destruction, ja. that he would have gone. En wat dat betreft moet je die, die Republikein gewoon nageven. Als je op Bush stemt, als je van Bush houdt, dan weet je in ieder geval wat je met Bush in huis haalt. En dan kan je niet achteraf zeggen, nou, ik wist niet wat hij van oorlog tegen terrorisme wist, uh, vond. Ik wist niet wat hij van doodstraf vond. Nee, met Bush weet je zeker. Kan je niet achteraf zeggen, mm, ik wil mijn geld terug. Can we really be sure that George W. Bush is going to take care of security? You were in the... I was in the Senate. Okay. And what was going on there? Um, they were voting on um, an amendment. Yes. Legislation 
to give uh, fifteen billion dollars yes. to Homeland Security. Yes. Um, the the money for the the fifteen billion would come from the top one percent of taxpayers. It would be a a one year increase in taxes for people making over a million dollars a year. The Republicans voted it down, so that's it. So we won't have any more money put toward Homeland Security. So I don't. It think really it depresses me. You know what? I feel. I don't know. It makes me. It gives me a strange feeling. You know what? We, what we are doing here? I mean, we really believe that President Bush, you know, was you know saving us from you know terror. You we see? we made all those things. You know, look at this. What we made. Do you still believe that? Well, after what you're saying, I'm no. really a little in doubt. I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're safe with Bush. Because we trusted him. I think a lot of people trusted him. I so? think a lot of Americans trusted him. You're supposed to be able to trust your president. Yes. You're supposed to. Yes. But you shouldn't. Not this one. Time out. Let's take a moment for the good old days. Q&A on honesty and the American presidency with the CEO of the Presidential Statue Gallery. Nixon? Yeah. Was he a good president? N Nixon was a good international pre president. He was the Watergate guy? Yes, he was. So then, but that wasn't really about, uh, he wasn't really honest then. He w got sent off, no, right? Let, let me put it, paranoid. He was paranoid. Mm -hmm. But was he like honest? Like truth, oh, truthful? Reliable. He was reliable. So what was Reagan about? Is he a really honest man? Definitely. Yes? Yes. How do you know? Well, uh, how could I not know? I don't know. Well, I don't... You, 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 you answered me, a, you asked me a question. <laughs> well, the, the, the... There was something about Iran. Ar Iron Gate. Gate. But it was... Iron not... Gate. What was it? Yeah. What was it about? I have no idea about no. that. Do no, no, Iron Gate? I, 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 I know about it, yes, but if I was, do I have an opinion on it? No. Okay. First Bush. Yeah, Walker. Walker. Mm -hmm. Honest? Yes, he was very honest. Was he the read my lips? Yeah, he was, unfortunately. Yes. Why do you say unfortunately? unfortunately? Because he didn't keep his promise. Oh, he didn't keep his promise? No, he raised taxes. Mr. Bill Clinton, did you like him? Personally, no. No? Why not? Maybe it was because of First Lady Von Kolewinski. Uh, well, that, that probably didn't help. What about President Kennedy? Was he an honest man? I say yes. He was an honest man. Mm -hmm. But didn't he have a lot of women, you know? I think his personal affairs. Yes. It's not of our business. That's right. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't affect running our country. Yes. But was he really honest? I think he was an honest man politically. I think he ran the country honestly. The Q&A in the gallery taught us that every president had one core issue. Freedom is President Bush's. My friend here is from Iran. Mm -hmm. I hope that President Bush will free Iran of the Ayatollahs. But, but you know, I mean, if President Bush would announce next week that we are uh, attacking uh, Iran only to liberate the people of Iran, I guarantee you that President Bush will never be able to get reelected again. That will not happen. Well, but this, mainly, this, this is all this about is the last four all... years. He will never have a chance for another four years. So well, sure. Let's, oh, sure. Let's, let's, you know, export freedom, export well, democracy. But, 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 you know, the price, the price is too high. Mr. Why? Because the, the, price, the, the America, the, the, the Iranian Levy. people will thank you. They will say, thank Mr. you. Is there, do you see any moment in, 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 in the near future that there will be a leader who do good things for the public at large? It's or you a, don't? It's a mixed story for one. I mean, I'm generally, I think we should be skeptical about leadership. Makes good sense to be skeptical about leadership altogether. Any system of power and domination, whether it's a slave owner or a you know, feudal lord or a bureaucrat in the Kremlin or a formally elected leader, you should always be skeptical about the use of power. That's just common sense and sanity. That doesn't mean you automatically damn everything they do, but you should be careful about what their claims and their demands and their pretenses of righteousness and their messages from God and so on and so forth. Yeah. And you should ask what they're in fact doing. Are there better and worse systems? Yeah. I mean, I think the best systems will be those that uh, dismantle the institutional structures which allow uh, 
uh, uh, power to be concentrated and to be applied uh, without uh, popular control. I think it's a long-term uh, goal of human history to dismantle such systems of power. It doesn't make sense to ask whether uh, we can find a savior. Can we elect a savior who will lead us to uh, uh, some wonderful future? That's not the way things work. Realizing that Bush will not live up to his promise to free the oppressed nations, and fearing that Kerry won't do anything different than Bush, the lobbyists take a new turn, because salvation won't come by elections. If you want to know where this road leads to, Watch the Bay Payero, Tama Abend, and come to their election party Tuesday evening, November the 2nd, in Studio Desmond in Amsterdam.